So hello guys, welcome to today's video and in today's video I'm going to share with you several simple practices I often tag them the best practices for affiliate marketing for total beginners so if you are a beginner getting started into affiliate marketing or you've already been into affiliate marketing but not getting your desired result well in this video I'm going to share with you the seven best practices that I implemented in affiliate marketing that helped me make up to $12,000 in just 30 days so that already said if this is your first time here, this first tech YouTube channel where I talk about blogging, affiliate marketing, and how you can make money online with other business ideas. So if it's your first time, I don't want to smash that subscribe button, like this video, tell me what you feel at the very end, and don't forget to share this video as well. So with that already said, let's get started with today's video as I share with you these seven best practices for affiliate marketing that you can implement today and start seeing some decent amount of results. So with that already said, now let's get started. So the point number one on our list is simply knowing your interests. See, people often overlook this when it comes to affiliate marketing. When it comes to affiliate marketing, knowing your interest is very key. Because when you are able to identify your main interest, it will help you pick the right niche that you can promote best. Because in affiliate marketing, for you to make money, you have to give out value before you get people to click on, on links to purchase a product. So assuming you pick a topic that you know nothing about, like here I am now, I want to pick a topic on health because I have no interest in anything related to health. This is just an example. I, it will be difficult for me to be able to come up with content ideas that I will use to drive sales to my uh, drive users to my affiliate links. That is what I'm actually referring to here by identifying your interest. So once you know your interest, your interest will guide you to pick the right niche, and then you know, picking uh, a niche in your interest will help you come up with great content ideas that will help attract users' attention. Like if this content I'm creating here on YouTube and on my website, if I wasn't passionate about this niche or have no idea about these topics I'm, talk I'm talking about there is no way i'll be able to create content great content consistently like, consistently like this so that's what i'm actually referring to here that before you get started into affiliate marketing first of all try to know your interest and pick a niche in your interest so that you never like lack idea ideas of content to create so that is about the point number with affiliate marketing simply knowing your interest as i already said when you pick something in your for you to be able to make money with affiliate marketing, you have to give out value. And for you to be able to give out value in any industry you find yourself, it's very necessary for you to pick something you are passionate about. So now let's move to the point number two. So the point number two here is simply analyze trend and opportunities. So how is this the best practice to affiliate marketing? So when it comes over to affiliate marketing, for you to be able to know which product your audience are currently in need of, for you to be able to know the best products that they want at a specific time the best thing is to, for you to check trend check trend and opportunities in that industry you've picked like i'm in the affiliate marketing industry right now affiliate marketing and blogging so if i'm to pr promote any product in this niche at this moment i'm going to look for things about how they can start blogging because we just started the year and most people are more interested in starting a new business at early of the year so that they can see some progress going uh further more to the end of the year so once you've been able to uh, in know your interest, the next thing is for you to uh, analyze your interest because your interest may be a broad interest like my interest is into digital marketing and digital marketing is broad. On the digital marketing, we have affiliate marketing and content marketing and now I'm focusing on content and affiliate marketing. So that is how I simply goes because I see that that is where my main focus is and that is where I'm going to get the results I need. So after you've been able to know your interest, now the next thing I want to do is analyze that your interest, look at the opportunities in that interest and focus on those aspects of your of aspect of opportunity because in that way you are likely to know your main targeted audience and work with your targeted audience, give them what they want so you can get the best result for whatever thing you need. And another thing with knowing your analyzing trend and knowing your opportunities is simply that when you know when you are able to get the trend data and the opportunities available. Whenever you launch an affiliate campaign, let's say you are doing an SEO campaign or running a social media ad, you will know the best areas to target, you will know the best things to target in order to get the best results out of it. So that is it about the point number two here, simply analyze trends and opportunities to see what is working in your industry and focus on that. Now let's move to the point number three. Now the point number two is simply research your targeted audience. So what do I mean by researching your targeted audience? Once you've been able to know your interests, analyze the trend and narrow down to a specific uh, niche in your industry, the next thing is being able to understand your targeted market. Because in this way, you're going to know what your audience needs at the right time. So trend may, may give you a broad idea of what is currently trending, but for you to be able to know what your specific audience needs, you, 
for you to be able to know what your audience specifically needs is for you to be able to research about them so the best way to research about your audience is look, taking a look at their demographics which is their location knowing their pain points and topics that they are discussing online and offline in this way i'm going to best know what they are looking for so that is about the point number three here simply research your targeted audience know their demographics know their pain points know what they are looking for know the topics they are more talking about the topic they are discussing about the most know them in that way you are going to know which content you will create to grab your attentions so that is it about the point now so the point number four here is simply establishing your presence so cultivating an online presence in choosing affiliate marketing niche is really necessary to so to affiliate sources because this will help you position yourself as an authority and let your customers know that you are knowledgeable about whatsoever thing you are uh, teaching them or whatever product you are recommending to them in this way they are going to have more trust in you they are going to believe in you the more so that whenever you recommend a product to them they are going to buy it like why do you always watch my youtube videos why do you read articles from my uh, website this is because i've created an authority in that industry and you believe in whatever strategy i put out there and the strategies i put out here for you to see you see them working in reality when you implement them the right to as i already said you see the results so this is the same thing that you an affiliate marketer needs to do this could be either on your website on your social media platforms just anywhere you get to gather your audience and promote product to them it's very necessary for you to let them know the power you have in that particular industry that we are going to trust in you more do not lie to them just be real to them create valuable content show them the authority you have let them know you are knowledgeable about that product or i content you are recommending to them either we are going to have more trust in you and the more trust they have in you the more they are likely to buy any product you are promoting to them so that is about the point number four is simply establishing your presence on social media or your mode of promotion so that is about the point number four now let's move to the point number five so now the point number five is simply joining the right affiliate network so what do i mean by affiliate network okay affiliate network are simply uh companies or let me say affiliate banks where you can go and get product to promote this could be digistore 24 jv zoo uh, um clickbank or just cg affiliate there are a lot of affiliate networks at the end i currently use hosting your affiliates impact videos jv zoo and digistore 24 and you can go with anyone at all so in case you want to see my best my most recommended affiliates uh, networks to join don't forget to share the video comment and also share the description i'll be linking to read as well and we have list some of the best affiliate network you can join as a total beginner and some other affiliate network you can join also involves amazon associates or uh flexly uh so sorry for that so any affiliate network you pick the most key thing here is being able to identify that particular product you want to promote so after you join any affiliate network first of all before you join that network try to know if they have a product you want to promote like i signed up to impact not because other people are using impact i've not even seen much people using impact but i signed up there because the products i was looking for were available there and trust me in your affiliate journey you are going to join multiple networks instead of but while starting off try joining the most trusted networks that i said i'll be listing uh in a different video that will be linked in the description and also in the uh, pinned comments as well. So that is about the point number five is simply join affiliate networks where you can find the right product to promote in your industry. Now let's move to the point number six. So the point number six is simply develop strategies and objectives. For you to be able to run a successful affiliate business or a successful affiliate campaign, one of the key things here is that you need to develop a unique strategy to promote that your product. Now you pick the product you want to promote, you join affiliate network, you pick you know your audience now you need to set goals that okay at the end of this month this is the total amount of money i want to make or this is the number of clicks i want to get to my uh page this is the number of uh, users and new users i need to target so once you've been able to uh set out these objectives these objectives and the particular product you pick to promote will not give you the idea strategy on how you can actually so that is it about the point number six here simply developing strategies and objectives because this will help you do the right thing at the right time like when you have goals to achieve trust me nothing can distract you nothing can make you uh procrastinate here and there because in affiliate marketing while starting that you need to spend time in building the right audience and that because that right audience will make your way easier for you and following these tips that i'm giving to you actually makes it more easier because you are now working in what you are interested in 
and you know the people you are promoting to in that way making sales will not be anything difficult for you as well another key thing is actually doing keyword research for affiliate marketing well i'll link to a video so the point number seven here is simply tracking your analytics and also testing out new ideas so for you to be able to find that sweet spot in affiliate marketing that will give you that real current commission real current commission that will change your whole story you need to uh, track your old analytics, see what has been working in the past and continue with those ones and then also try testing out new ideas to see if they will also work out as well so when it comes to testing new ideas, this could be new ways of driving traffic to your affiliate links or simply running ads to get more users or doing giveaways just to get users attention and keep them uh, on your channel or trying out different promotional channels like uh, starting a blog, starting a YouTube channel and See, testing more ideas will give you more audience, will give you that uh, zeal to get more audience and the more audience you get, the more money you make. Like, when people post screenshots here, you don't know how many platforms where we promote our affiliate product. Like, I promote product here on YouTube, like you check this video description, it's currently flooded. I promote a uh, product on my website, I promote product on social media and I also promote other products locally as well. Like, when I'm promoting physical products, most of my physical products, I promote them locally. You see, that's one thing about affiliate marketing that a lot of people don't know yet is that using one source of traffic will not give you everything you need. For you to be able to get everything you need, you need to try out multiple sources of traffic and that's where trying out new ideas also comes in. Or can simply take a look at your old analytics, see the platforms that are working perfectly for you and work more on those platforms to get more audience. And the bonus tip I have for you here is simply be consistent. Your first one to three months, your first one to six months, you might not make anything. It's normal. Just keep going, keep following the right rules, and trust me, in in one year to two year time, you'll be happy you started like I started uh, blogging and YouTubing since to, I was 16. That was back in uh, that was back in 2019. And these four years now and I'm still doing the same thing, but I'm not in the same place. Why? Because I was consistent and I was doing my things the right way. And following the rules and I was patient with them so that's the same thing with affiliate marketing you just have to do the right thing and be patient and see the end result so that's it thanks for watching this video to this final stage and if it's your first time on this channel so I just said don't forget to smash on that subscribe button like this video and tell us what you feel down in the comment section wait why am I using Oxina Melon so we are conversing together so that's it about today's video have a nice day and don't forget to smash on that subscribe button we post videos three times a week which is Tuesday, when Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So now, have a nice day. Bye.